Howdy everyone, it's me Grace, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to transform this oversized shirt I found at my local thrift store into a fantasy-inspired nightgown for my original character, Briar. Briar is an elven explorer, and I plan on taking her to Ren Fairs and LARP events in the future. I figured if I stay overnight in an event, it would be cool to have some cute fantasy PJs to use. When I went to the thrift shop recently, I saw this long, green, super soft cotton shirt with this gorgeous thread work on it. I knew it would be a great piece to work with. This was $10 and that's pretty expensive for it being a thrift store find, but it was technically a shirt and pants set, but the pants were way too big and the shirt was big enough to cover me anyway. So I left the pants at the thrift shop so they could find a home with someone else that could use them. I don't really have to do too much to this shirt to give it a whimsical fantasy makeover, but Here's what I decided to do with it. When I saw this open collar, the first thing that came to mind was to put some grommets on it. I mapped out where I wanted the grommets to go by laying the pieces in place and marking the middle with a pen dot. Then I cut the little holes over the pen dots to push half of the grommet through and installed them with some grommet pliers. I messed up on installing one of these and ripped the fabric, but don't worry, it's not the end of the world because the next step should cover that right up. To make the metal grommets softer so they'll be comfier to sleep in, I'm decorating them with embroidery floss. I had a lot of possible colors to choose from and needed help choosing, so I asked my Patreon Discord community to help pick. They decided on this brown thread which is a great choice. To cover the grommets with thread, I'm threading the needle through the hole and around the exterior of the grommet like this. I repeated this process until the entire grommet was covered, and then I moved on to the rest of them. Remember that one that was messed up? Well, I'm going to cover my mistake by using the same method. And ta-da, it's like it was never there. Once all the grommets were done, I needed to make a drawstring to thread through them. I wanted the drawstring to complement the gown in grommets. So I picked out some embroidery thread in brown and green colors. I made sure the threads were long enough for a drawstring and braided them together. I think this made a really unique looking drawstring. This isn't something you'd notice unless you were really looking at it, but hey, I know it's there and now you know it's there. I threaded the drawstring through the holes and there it is, a fantasy inspired nightgown that's just as comfy as it looks. I was really lucky to have grommets and embroidery floss left over from other projects, so this only cost me a $10 trip to the thrift store. This week's Makers of the Week include Joe, who showed me his Clive cosplay. I especially love the wig and makeup. Sailing Circle showed me this keyblade they made. I love that you made it out of wood in a real book. Finally, Supa D's Art made this Carmine cosplay phenomenal craftsmanship, and paintwork. Thank you all so much for taking the time to show me what you're making. Seeing what you create makes my day. I really hope you liked the video today, and until next time, bye y'all.